expected around the area. And of course, you know what Monday is. April the 8th, we've got sunshine here, and we're counting down to the solar eclipse on April 8th. And each day this week, I'll show you why the solar eclipse is so special. So next week, Monday, will be the first solar eclipse that the U.S. has had in seven years. Here's heliophysicist Alan Alex Young from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Well, a couple of things. So some of the, the sort of basic things that make it different is um, it's going to, the moon is actually a bit closer because it doesn't orbit in a circle. It actually orbits in kind of a football shape. And what that means is the path of totality is wider and the length of totality inside that path is longer. Now, it depends on whether you're at the middle or as you move farther out, it goes down. But the, the longest in 2017 was about 2 minutes and 38 seconds. The longest in this one is going to be 4 minutes and 28 seconds. Well, one of the things that's different is where it's actually going across the United States. So the one in 2017 covered a lot of land that was not populated. Mm -hmm. A lot of mountains and, and areas out in the west, which were pretty vast open areas. But the one this year is going to start in Texas, and it covers a lot of major cities. You know, we go up through near San Antonio and Austin and Dallas, Fort Worth, Hot Springs, Arkansas, Indianapolis. I mean, all of these major cities, Buffalo, are experiencing it. So there's a lot more people. A lot more people, and of course, with social media and uh, the fact that we can, you know, uh, get the word out just like that, it could be one of the most viewed uh, solar eclipses in years. Now, tomorrow, what Bailey's beads and the diamond ring has to do with the solar eclipse? We got sunshine here. We'll show you tomorrow.